Imagine you are sitting inside a car parking in an open area parking during summer. The outside temperature is 37 degrees centigrade. How will you feel? Every year during summer, we see on the news that several babies and kids die inside unattended hot cars. Moreover, we pay a significant amount of our electricity bills due to heating and cooling systems. This graph at the right side presents annual electricity consumption in different states in Australia. As you can see here, air conditioning systems marked in the light blue contributes to the highest amount of our electricity consumption each year. And this excessive use of air conditioning systems also leads to global warming, whose consequences we have already been experiencing in terms of climate change. So as a researcher, these problems make me think, what if we use heat-regulated coating glasses in our windows that can regulate heat according to human comfort? and thus reduce the use of heating and cooling systems. However, I have found that currently most of the solutions such as glazing or smart coatings for smart uh, temperature regulation through windows requires electricity and needs to compromise with the visibility when turned on for heat regulation. Therefore, my research aim to explore novel materials and thin film coatings for self-regulated window solutions which can block only heat and allows light to enter our buildings and cars without any electricity. The aim was to find out a material which changed their properties near room temperature. So my experimental research has two parts, a deposition and characterization of materials to choose one for heat blocking coatings and developing a suitable method to make large area coating for windows using the chosen material. I have found that fat chance materials change their crystal structures and electrical and optical properties with temperature, electricity, or light. In my research, I have investigated different fat chance materials that changes their electrical and optical properties with temperature. Among all the fat chance materials, I have found that vanadium dioxide thin films underwent insulated to metal transition close to room temperature. As we can see, uh, this figure shown here present the temperature dependent electrical properties of vanadium dioxide thin films. The X and Y axis show the temperature and resistivity respectively. At room temperature, these films are insulated with resistivity of several mega ohm per centimeter. When they are heated, the resistivity starts dropping and film becomes fully metallic at around 68 degrees centigrade. This insulated to metal transition happens near room temperature. And this made me to choose this material to investigate the optical properties with temperature to, for uh, checking its suitability to use at his heat blocking coatings. So next I developed, uh, I have deposited vanadium dioxide thin films and investigated the temperature dependent optical properties. To optimize the performance of vanadium dioxide thin films, I have very different parameters, including film thickness, deposition temperature, pressure, and percentage of oxygen flow during the deposition. In the right-hand side figure shows here the optical changes of my vanadium dioxide thin film. X-axis and Y-axis present wavelength and transmission percentage of vanadium dioxide films respectively. As we know, Wavelength range from 400 to 700 nanometer is visible light and beyond 700 nanometer region shown here are infrared wave wavelength, which is responsible for heat when transmitted inside our buildings and cars. As we can see at room temperature presented as red graph, when these films, uh, thin films are insulators, they allow to pass through both visible and infrared wavelengths that corresponds to visible light and heat respectively. While heated, as shown here with the black graph, they changed into metals that block only infrared light and excess heat. And these electrical and optical changes are fully reversible, which makes these coating glasses suitable for using in heat regulated smart window applications. So in short, in cold days, these coatings will pass both visible light and heat 
that will make the inside warm up on the other hand during hot days this will pass only light and block seat that will keep our indoor temperature suitable for human comfort thus these thin film coating glasses have the potential to be used to regulate solar heat inside our buildings and cars so based on the optical characteristics found from this research i have developed vanadium dioxide based photo detector device and investigate on their performance with the variation of device dim dimensions and this work has been published in a top q and journal applied materials today so i demonstrated fetch chance material based temperature driven heat blocking thin films experimentally presented vanadium dioxide thin film is a promising proof of concept and this work showcases a scope for commercially viable vanadium dioxide coated smart glass coatings however the above mentioned thin film technology is limited to small scale fabrications only to use these coatings for real life applications need a technology suitable for large scale fabrication therefore in the next part of my research i am working on developing a technology that is suitable for coating larger surfaces for large area coatings i have already investigated on different solution based methods and solvents and in the solution based deposition work the performance of different solvents are tested by dispersing commercially available vanadium dioxide nanoparticles into into solvents the nanoparticles are of several nanometer of size as shown here in the left side of this tm image moreover polymer was added to the solution to increase the stability and uniformity of the coatings the goal is to simply spray the solution on glass surfaces to get the functional heat blocking coating as shown here the films are prepared on glasses to perform the testings the quality of the material and optical properties for suitability of glass coatings are being measured using various spectroscopy and microscopy techniques as shown here just like our thin film samples this solution based films show the similar trend of optical change with a 31% switching with temperature in the infrared region without affecting the visibility which confirms its suitability for large scale coating applications however temperature needed for this transition is still high and one would ideally like to be Uh, like this to be triggered at a lower temperature such as 35 degree centigrade so that solar heat can switch the material therefore currently i am working on reducing this transition temperature close to 35 degree centigrade by using different dopant materials in these solutions so to conclude in my research i have developed temperature regulated heat blocking coatings using fetch chance materials although these coatings are still in prototyping stage successful primary results suggest that it is more than possible to commercialize them in near future with focus deposits by using this heat blocking coatings it is possible to significantly reduce the use of air conditioners in our buildings and cars moreover car windows coated with this material can prevent excessive heat inside during summer without compromising the visibility thus the day is not too far when we will have our windows that will be able to regulate the solar heat according to our comfort without the need for electricity to lead towards a sustainable future thank you